AE fam and welcome to Ayo and Ebu Entertainment. So today we'll be showing you the top 10 most fascinating African traditional clothes. So there's this popular belief that Africans don't wear clothes and we just roam around naked and that it's the Westerners that brought clothes to Africa to make us look less savage. And we made a video about this, asking people on the streets what they think Africans were. And there were so many shocking reactions. Guys, you have to check out that video. But today I'm here to tell you that no, Africans have always had our traditional clothes. And our traditional clothes are so beautiful. Like the one I'm wearing right now is the Dan Shiki. And it's very common across Africa right now. But today we'll be talking about traditional clothes in specific African countries. By the way, guys, don't forget to pre-order. We sell Danshikis, AE Danshikis. So don't forget to pre-order them by sending us um, an email or messaging us, us on Instagram or Facebook. So yes, although several African countries have different African attires, we all have something in common. African clothes are very, very colorful. And we love wearing them with several accessories like head wraps, beads, gold chains, bangles, things like that. Yes, guys. So let's show you the top 10 most fascinating African traditional wares. Guys, as we continue to promote Africa, as we continue to spread positive vibes about Africa, please support us by clicking the subscribe button below and sharing this video with all your friends. Let our positive vibes, let our positive image of Africa reach the ends of the earth. <laughs> Thank you. Let's talk about the traditional clothes of Heroro people. The traditional clothes of the Herero tribe is so unique and colorful. This tribe can be found mostly in Namibia, Botswana, and Angola. These are countries in Southern Africa. These long dresses are custom made to match the wearer's own personal style. This dress is called Ohoro Kova. The Ohoro Kova is very colorful with vibrant patterns and several petticoats. Herero women choose to wear it as a permanent reminder of the tribe's unsettling past and history when Germans almost exterminated the entire tribe. Their cultural dress is a continued protest against the Germans who butchered them. This attire is also topped by a cow horned hat and Herero people are historically cattle breeders. Cattle is a measure of their wealth. So this hat pays homage to that part of their identity. Chad is a vast diverse country in Central Africa. They have over 180 ethnic groups. Many of them are nomads and farmers and they are primarily Muslims. All these factors, from ethnicity to religion to occupation, influences how they dress. Traditional Chadian men attire is made of long robes called jalabiyas, along with turban-like headgear known as tagiya. Their women wear wraps called rabots or padne. Nigeria is also a very diverse country located in West Africa. You can find main ethnic groups like Hausa Fulani, Yoruba, and Igbo. Hausa Fulani men wear a lengthy robe called babariga, while the women wear clothes with amazing patterns and accessories. The Yoruba people are known for their exquisite clothing. They wear it for special occasions like funerals and weddings. There is the gele. This is a cloth which women wrap around their heads. Women also wear a rectangular skirt called iro and loose fitting blouse 
called buba. Yoruba men wear robes called agbada. Igbo clothing are mostly of beads, caps, and then it's accessorized with a horse whip. Morocco. The richness of Moroccan traditional clothing can be felt in their weddings. This North African country has a very rich culture. The traditional Moroccan clothing for both men and women is called Jelaba. It is a loose outfit with long sleeves and a hood. On special occasions, they also wear a red cap locally called Fez. And next on our list, we have Ethiopia. Ethiopia is located on the Horn of Africa and it is widely believed that human existence started there. Traditional clothes in Ethiopia is usually made from beautiful white woven cotton. Traditional women's clothes are called Habesha Kemi. These clothes are made from a cloth called Shema, which are woven in long strips and then sewn together. South Africa South Africa is a hotbed of multiple cultures and ethnicities. I love their traditional clothes so much that I wore it in one of our videos titled Top 10 African Countries to Visit Before You Die. Check it out! The Zosa tribe's outfits are so stunning. Their clothes always features beautifully designed beadwork and colorful printed fabrics. The Zulus love animal skins. In Zulu culture, the leopard is seen as the king of the predators. Therefore, leopard skin is reserved for Zulu royalty alone. One of the most iconic pieces of Zulu clothing is the circular shaped hat called Izikolo, traditionally worn by married women. The men wear a front apron called Isinene and a rear apron called Iphesu, with tufts of cow's tail worn on their upper arms and below the knees. And next on the list, Somalia. Somalia is a country located in the Horn of Africa. In fact, it is the Horn of Africa. Many parts of Somalia is Islamic. This has a strong influence on the dress codes of this country. An outfit commonly worn by Somali men is a white cotton sheet wrapped around them as a skirt and another white piece used as a shawl. A sarong-like garment called makawis is also typically worn by most Somali men. Somali men also wear a colorful turban known as kofiyad. Because of their Islamic beliefs, most Somali women wear headscarves. Women in Somalia also generally wear a guntino. A guntino is a long piece of cloth which is tied over the shoulder and wrapped around the woman's waist. Now, let's take you to Ghana. Ghanaian people take pride in how they dress. The traditional clothes associated with Ghana is called the Kente. Kente is made by the Akang people and it's a mix of cotton and silk. It is worn mostly for special occasions. The next country on our list. Of course, the beautiful Kenya. How will this list be complete without the Maasai clothing of Kenya? One of the most well-known tribes in Kenya and around the world is the Maasai tribe. Their dress is also considered to be the national attire of Kenya. This consists usually of a red checked suka, which is the Maasai blanket, with a lot of bright decorations like necklaces, bracelets, and bead headdresses. Last but not the least, Lesotho. Lesotho is a small African country 
embedded in South Africa. Let's talk about the Basoto blankets. You will see blankets of varying colors and patterns at all important life events, from marriages to childbirths to coronation of kings. I love the Basoto heart, also known as Mokorotlo. It is a conical woven heart with a top knot and made of local mosa grass. The Basoto heart is their national symbol and can be found even on their flag. Guys, which of these outfits do you love the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Welcome back friends. We hope you enjoyed this video. So guys, I want to shed light on a very important problem that I've noticed, especially for Africans or black people living abroad. We don't want to wear our traditional clothes. We don't want to wear our African clothes because we don't want to look too African. Normally, being a black person abroad we already face unnecessary and unwanted attention and then we feel that wearing our african clothes will give us more attention that we don't want and these are some of the reasons why a lot of africans abroad don't want to wear african clothes they don't want to look too african they don't want to look savage but like this is gradually changing because we're seeing celebrities like Beyonce or Chris Brown wearing African clothes. We see Louis Vuitton parading the Maasai clothing on their runways. And gradually Africans are embracing the culture. Africans are embracing the heritage. But this is wrong, guys. We have to embrace our culture, whether other people accept it or not. Embrace your African heritage. Wear your African clothes. Be proud of who you are. This is who we are. This is our heritage. This is our culture. So let us show it to the world and show it proudly. Guys, go and check out our videos, the ones we made on breaking stereotypes about Africa. It's a playlist. I'll put it on the screen. And also check out our video where we're asking people what Africans wear. So many shocking responses. I'll also put the link somewhere on the screen. So go and check it out also. Guys, thank you so much for supporting us. We really, really appreciate it every video we make we continue to spread positive vibes about africa we continue to promote africa that the media will not show you we continue to promote the positive side of africa so guys support us support our channel by joining our ae family and subscribing below for more videos and also put on the notification bell and share it with your friends let us also join our family and together let us spread the positive vibes about africa guys don't forget to also pre-order your ae dash keys have a great week friends and see you in our next video peace out